Welcome to Warm Up for Reviews. My name's Angel, and today I will be reviewing Dunkirk. If you couldn't understand what I was saying, because um, I was just trying to do my best Tom Hardy interpretation in a Christopher Nolan movie. Shaking bait, Ricky Bat. Shaking bait, Ricky Bat. Dunkirk, directed by Christopher Nolan, is one of my most anticipated movies of 2017. And this movie did not disappoint an absolute triumph. If you want to watch this movie because you like war films, if you want to watch this movie because like suspenseful movies or very ambitious movies, this is definitely the movie for you. Dunkirk does a lot of great things and a couple of things that it didn't do well. But the basic plot of Dunkirk, there's 400,000 British and French troops. They're stuck with their backs against the sea and the German army closing in on them on land. And there's no ships for them to go back to Britain. There's no ships for them to escape. There's a bunch of soldiers that are just not trying to win this battle. They're not trying to win this war. They're trying not to die. There is no winning in this scenario. And that was part of the marketing. What will you do? Do to survive. This is what Aragorn was talking about at the end of the Lord of the Rings or Return of the King when he says, There will be that time when the courage of man fails, when you will forsake all bonds of fellowship. And it is this day. It is during Dunkirk. And one of the perspectives you get in this movie is from some soldiers who are just trying to escape. They're trying to sneak into boats. Another perspective you get is of Tom Hardy is wearing another mask and sometimes you can't hear what he's saying. So I don't know if Christopher Nolan Heard all the people commenting and saying that they couldn't understand Bane. And he just started trolling everybody, making Tom Hardy again wear something in his face where you can't hear clearly what he's trying to say while he's having conversations with other fighters who have stuff in their face. So thank you, Christopher Nolan, for trolling us again. And the final perspective you get is of Mark Rylance, a regular British citizen who has a who happens to own a boat. Because in the beginning of the movie, you see a bunch of boats that are on their way to Dunkirk to try to rescue these, these poor people that are just stuck there because nobody else is coming. And Mark Rylance... Speaking of him, I can't wait to see the Ready Player One trailer that's gonna supposed to drop tomorrow at San Diego Comic Con. I will be doing a first reaction for that because uh, Ready Player One is gonna be awesome. But anyway, in this movie, so you got those three perspectives. Now I wanna talk about the direction that this movie takes you because you feel like you're inside this movie. And so many scenes in this movie, when they were inside a boat, you see the boat rocking when the camera was rocking like you were in the boat with those characters. When they're in the plane, you see the perspective of the plane or when the plane is switching, you see the camera switch like you're inside the plane. You're watching a virtual reality movie through the lenses of everybody in the movie. There was a lot of claustrophobic scenes and every time somebody was grasping for air, somebody was drowning, you felt like you were drowning. The way the camera moved, it would go underwater, then it catch for air. Everything in this movie, you felt every emotion these guys were feeling and that was just beautiful. Now, the only problems I had with this movie, after the resolution, after the climax, it felt like the climax wasn't really there. So overall, this movie, it's another classic by Christopher Nolan. If you just want to see it for a cinematic perspective, it's one of the best directed movies of 2017. The score is probably one of the best scores of 2017. Where's the bloody Air Force? And the story overall, if you like war films, if you like suspenseful movies, or movies that keep you without being able to breathe at times, feeling just like so many moments, you have so many emotions in this movie, you should definitely check it out. So I'm going to give Dunkirk a grade of an A. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Angel. This was my Dunkirk review. Tomorrow, or if you're watching this today, I'm going to be doing first reactions to the Ready Player One trailer that's going to drop because I've been waiting for this movie for a long time. It was one of the first book reviews I did on this channel years ago. And as well as the Ready Player One, I will be doing Justice League and some of the San Diego Comic Con footage that's going to come out tomorrow. Hopefully you guys subscribe and watch my next videos that are going to be exciting. So thank you guys for watching. I don't know how to end it. You already ended it. Oh yeah. Later.